So you made an amazing spell ability for your game and now you need a heat effect for when it collides with other objects. So follow the steps in this video if you want to learn how to make this heat effect and make sure to watch till the end of the video if you want to learn how to use it correctly in your games. So firstly, create a 1000 by 1000 pixels canvas in Photoshop with a black background. Then create a new layer and by using the pen tool, draw this kind of flash shape. Right click and select fill path. Then add these little details and repeat the same procedure. Now add Gaussian blur to it. Remove the dark background and export as a PNG file. Now we need a second flash texture so by using a pencil to draw this kind of flash. Then add radial blur to it, duplicate the layer and rotate it a little bit. Remove the black background and export as a PNG. On a new layer with the ellipse tool, draw this circle then right click and select stroke path. Then remove the dark background and export as a PNG file. By using the pen tool on a new layer, draw a random shape then fill it and right click on the layer and add a little bit of outer glow. Then remove the black background and export as a PNG file. Now to do the smooth texture on a new layer, use an airbrush tool with an average size and an opacity of about 20%. Then draw these overlapping little circles. Now in Unity, create a material and set its shader to Particle Standard on Lead. Then set its rendering mode to fade and check two sided. Set the albedo to one of the textures you created. Give it a white color and increase its intensity to about 4. Then duplicate the material and do the same for all the other textures. Next, create an empty game object, reset its transform and move it a little bit upwards so it doesn't collide with the ground. Under it, create a particle system and call it Flash 1. Then set its duration to 1, no looping, start lifetime to about 0.25, with speed equals to 0 because it doesn't need to move. Set the size to 2, start rotation at a random number between 0 and 180, give it a blue color with full alpha. Set the rate over time to 0 with a burst count of 1. Disable shape, enable size over lifetime and select this curve. Then assign the corresponding material. Now duplicate that particle system and rename it to flash 2. Give it a darker color with an alpha value of about 125. Enable color over lifetime and make it a fade in fade out as you can see on the screen. Then assign the corresponding material. Now for the circle, duplicate the flash one particle system and assign its corresponding material. Then enable color over lifetime and make it a fade in fade out. Also, enable size over lifetime and select this curve. For the smooth, create a new particle system and give it a name. Then set its duration to 1, no looping, start lifetime to 1 with a speed of about 0.5 to 1. Set its size to 2 and give it a random rotation between 0 and 180. Set its rate over time to 0 with a burst count of 1 and disable shape. Enable color over lifetime and make it a fade in fade out. Enable size over lifetime and select this curve. Also add to it rotation over lifetime with a value of about 25. And then assign its corresponding material. Lastly, duplicate the flash one particle system and give it a name. And then assign to it the random shape material. 
change its lifetime to 1 and increase its speed to 1.5. Give it a random size between 0.05 and 0.1. Then change its burst count to a random number between 14 and 20. Enable shape, select sphere and give it the lowest radius. Then make its color lifetime as a complete fade out. And this is the final result. Of course, you can change the colors as much as you want. Now, to learn how to make this spell ability to use with your heat effect, click on the video on screen right now.